Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brian's Criterion. This week's episode is a review of the delightful Criterion Blu-ray, WALL-E. Uh, but before we begin, please, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're loving these Criterion reviews. Disney has kicked the Criterion doors down and put out their Pixar classic, marking the first Disney movie to be added to the collection. And for us Criterion nerds, uh, that's a pretty big deal. But before we dive into the film, let's briefly talk about the Blu-ray. So real quick, I want to point out that this collection contains both the 4K Blu-ray and a normal Blu-ray. So if you don't own a 4K Blu-ray player, uh, do not worry. You can still pick this collection up and uh, enjoy all of its offerings. So just thought that that was worth mentioning. All right, so the Blu-ray. The box itself is like wonderful. It is thick and beefy, you know, and it's a sign that you're in for a memorable collection. And, you know, the Criterion Collection has always been known for its, you know, gorgeous artwork, and Wally is no exception. Uh, the cover of this thing is amazing. So when you slide the cover off, you get a fold-out case. Open it up, and you see a 40-page booklet entitled Trash Planet. You also get three discs loaded with special features, which we might as well get this out of the way. You know, the special features on this collection are insane. There is so much on this disc, and I'm just going to lay it all out for you, so uh, brace yourselves. Okay, first off, you got two audio commentaries, uh, an interview with Andrew Stanton about his film influences, a tour of the Pixar Living Archive, you know, many behind the scenes on the making of the film, uh, the full film, The Pixar Story from 2007, although I'm pretty sure you can watch this on Disney Plus if you subscribe there, I think, you know, don't quote me on that. Uh, you get a master class of a scene with Stanton, deleted scenes, two short films, and the 40-page booklet already mentioned. There is still much more I'm leaving out, you know, mostly small behind-the-scenes segments, you know, covering multiple aspects of production, but overall, you know, it's a lot. So let's talk about the booklet. The 40-page booklet titled Trash Planet is pretty cool. You get a brief essay from Sam Wasson, hope I'm saying that right, as well as drawings, pre-production notes, and script notes. It's a very, very cool collectible book. At the end of the day, this might be the most bang for your buck for a Criterion collection that's out there. With the 4K Blu-ray, the regular Blu-ray, plus all the special features listed, it's an incredible set that's worth picking up for any collector. Now let's talk about the film. The plot synopsis from IMDb reads, In the distant future, a small waste collecting robot inadvertently embarks on a space journey that will ultimately decide the fate of mankind. So after rewatching this movie for the review, I gotta say, man, did I forget how good this movie is. This is an hour and a half film that is mostly void of dialogue, and yet it's beautiful, touching, and funny as hell. This is Pixar at its finest. In fact, this period in Pixar's filmography is Pixar at their peak, or, or like a golden age of Pixar, at least in my opinion. And that is because in 2007, they released Ratatouille, which is my personal favorite Pixar film. And then in 2008, they released WALL-E. Then Up in 2009. And lastly, Toy Story 3 in 2010. So I'm going to say those one more time. Ratatouille, back to back, you got Ratatouille, WALL-E, Up, and Toy Story 3. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than those four movies. While Wally isn't my favorite of the bunch, it's still one of Pixar's best. Wally is one of the most memorable Pixar creations. He's cute, funny, clumsy, and most of all, endearing. Every moment he's on screen, you're rooting for him. It's a film that both keeps me in tears and makes me laugh moments later. The film is expertly paced and not a single scene is wasted, and the story unfolds with masterful precision. For a film that lacks dialogue, it does a pretty good job at sucking you into its world and characters. And that's a tough undertaking for Stan to pull off, and I applaud him and his crew for executing that vision beautifully. Wally will forever go down as one of the best characters in Pixar's mass canon of characters, and for good reason. You fall in love and connect with him the first time you see him. And just like the character, it's hard not to fall in love with this movie, from the moment it begins until the final credits roll. It's easily one of Pixar's strongest films. Overall, this movie rules, and this collection is a must-buy for any Criterion collector. And I will say, I will say, selfishly I might add, you know, with this collection's success, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for a Ratatouille edition, because, you know, one can dream, right? Okay, that's it, folks. Until the next review, I say cheers. <laughs>